If you use Apple Calendar, otherwise known as iCal, how do you properly subscribe to a Google Calendar and get updates from that Google Calendar if uh, the calendar owner changes events, changes details within the event, adds events, changes the time, deletes events? You should be able to get those updates automatically in Apple Calendar or iCal. A lot of people don't do this right, so they don't get updates. So let me go ahead and show you how to do it correctly. So first of all, the Google Calendar owner needs to give you the secret address in iCal format. So this is how they should give it to you. They need to go to their Google Calendar. They need to scroll to whatever calendar they want to share with you. Click on the three dots. Click on settings and sharing. And they need to scroll all the way down to the bottom to see the secret address in iCal format. And all they need to do is click on the copy to clipboard. So this is what they need to do okay and they'll get the secret security warning click okay they need to give you that link and when they give you the link in an email or whatever it should look something like this the link it will be really long it'll have a randomized code it's going to be different from this code obviously because this is a test calendar and it will have at the end of the link a dot ics okay and then what you do now is uh, as an apple calendar person or iCal person, you go to your Apple Calendar, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this from the desktop or laptop because um, that way it, it translates because you probably have your iPhone calendar or iPad calendar synced to your laptop or desktop. I um, that's if you don't know how to do that, that's a separate tutorial. I don't uh, you can you search YouTube for that, but let me go ahead and show you how to now subscribe to that Google Calendar here in the in the Apple Calendar software. So open up the Apple Calendar or the Calendar software on your Mac. And then once you're here, click on File and New Calendar Subscription. So it's not a new calendar, but New Calendar Subscription. And then you have to paste in the link that the Google Calendar person has given you and click on Subscribe. And then you will see these settings. Let me move my video out of the way. Uh, the, the name of the calendar, I put test calendar on Google, so that's what it shows up here. And then the link you already pasted in earlier. And location, uh, I would suggest iCloud as the default because if you use iCloud, then your calendars will be automatically synced, uh, from between your, or your computer and your phone or mobile device so that's why i suggest icloud um if if some of you have so there's the, these options between the mac and the icloud if some of you have a different opinion about this you can comment below and share with us what your suggestion is i would also recommend unchecking alerts and attachments why is that because if the google calendar event includes either alerts or attachments I want them to also be in my Apple Calendar or iCal. Now that's assuming you trust the Google Calendar. And the reason why they have this here, why would people remove it is because if they're subscribed to a public calendar and they don't know the person well, and it could be spam or whatever, they don't want to receive that kind of spam in, in their Apple Calendar. So that's why if you're, yeah, if you're subscribed to a calendar, you don't know the person well, you, they might, you don't know if they're going to spam or not, then you would check these. But for a, a trusted calendar, I would recommend unchecking them so you do receive these. And then the auto refresh is a quite a confusing setting. The default here is every week, but I want to receive changes, you know, every five minutes. If the Google calendar, let's say that there's an event on the Google calendar that's an hour from now and the Google calendar person makes some kind of details changes, changes to the event. I want to receive that. You know, you know, as soon as possible, right? Like if I had it refreshing every day, I wouldn't receive that update to that Google Calendar event. So that's why I recommend every five minutes. If you have a different opinion about that or a suggestion why some people might want to refresh less, I would love for you to comment below because it's a really confusing setting. So again, I would um, not check ignore alerts because I why would I ignore alerts? I want to receive them. If you, I'll show you after this. Um, so I'm going to click OK and I'll show you what happens here. Okay. So uh, the, the test, you'll know that it's there because the name of the new calendar is there and it has that symbol that shows that you're subscribed. And you can see I have now have a super great, even the emojis come through. So if I double click on this super, super great event, I didn't put any details in the Google. So that's why there's no details here. If you want to make changes to the settings I was just talking about, you just simply click, uh, click on the calendar, uh, control click. So hold down the control key on your keyboard 
click and then click on get info and this is where you can change those settings so if that calendar ends up being quite annoying there's lots of alerts or attachments or, or something like that you can change those settings here so if you have any other uh, suggestions for others who are doing this process you can comment below I'm sure they will appreciate it and I'm I, I will appreciate seeing your opinions and suggestions and experiences with this as well so thank you so much for watching and I hope this is helpful